Hello gamers, Mixed Artist here, and today we're on part 8 of the Mining Colony um, series here. And uh, what I've decided I'm going to do today is I'm going to do everything I can to be able to get a silo or a tank set up to store our uh, creosote here automatically, and as well as maybe get this um coal coke being put into the blast furnace hopefully i'll be able to automate that and the final thing that i really wanted to do was get this power going over here uh, i noticed i was looking in the engineer's manual and there's a lot more things that i can build but i need to get more aluminum going so i'm going to be spending a little bit of time going out adventuring you can see here i've got some things to make my trek easier working on getting all of that going but uh the first thing i really just wanted to kind of cover was the creation of the engineer's toolbox because that's going to be a very useful thing for me to kind of just have laying around i've used it in creative mode before and it really helps to organize all of your tools uh whoops that's the wrong shelf okay it's this one all right so, um, soon I will be getting into some more of the astral sorcery aspect of the mod that I have here, but I've started this, and the main focus of this is kind of the town at the moment. So, until everything is set up with that, um, I'm just going to be working on, on the immersive engineering as well as the mining colony aspects. Uh, so I'm looking for the toolbox, and wow, come on, guy, here we go. Okay, we need rows, a wooden storage crate, and some aluminum plates. Now, this is why I'm having a little bit of problem at the moment with the aluminum, and that's why I need to go head out and do this expedition, because as you can see... I've only got a minute amount of aluminum to see I don't even have enough to do this at the moment I did have some more bauxite but I accidentally turned it into um, nickel for some reason I think if you put the hammer on one side of the or it will turn it to nickel dust or if you put the the hammer on the other side of the ore I think it turns it into the aluminum I'm not exactly sure how I messed that up because I know I had the right ore so I guess I'm just going to be heading out right now and um, when I get back I'm going to start the process of creating the storage tank that's going to be really cool. I do have enough iron, I think, but I really kind of want to get some of this other things going that I need the aluminum for. So I'm going to be heading out in this direction here. Oh, and uh, one more thing. I've got a an update here that I was messing around with the map, and I noticed over here under the help tab, Coming down here, you can scroll down and you can see that it says regenerate visible map area from region files. All right, I hit that before and it seems to have fixed the texture in the map. It took a little while for the whole thing to fully load. It, it may have been from when I um, exited the game and then loaded back in. But either way, if you just um, press the map, and hit the R button while you're on the map. You see it says it's rendering 2,000 blocks starting from where I'm at. So that will that will refresh your textures on your map should they black out on you with this um, mod for the map. I'm not exactly sure what it is at the moment, but I will get back to you guys about that. I don't want to waste too much time of this footage, so I'm just going to go ahead and start building this way a road. 
and if I find anything that's really super interesting on my journey I will include that otherwise the next time you're gonna see me will be in the village thank you for stopping in this is Mick Stardust and I'll be right back okay welcome back gamers um, I'm back from my little mining expedition and I think I've got enough to get covered what I had intended to start and maybe even a little bit more so what I plan on doing is getting this fluid tank built I'm gonna put that down here uh, I should have dug this hole prior okay so I'm just gonna be digging this for a moment um, we're gonna need to have four iron sheets per block to put this on now this entire structure is going to be five tall one two three four okay I gotta go down okay so we're going to need a total of six iron sheets for the pipes to connect that here to the top of this okay and then what we need are some uh, fences the um, treated treated fences I'm getting a lag spike here I don't okay I, I did turn my graphical settings up a little bit since my last video so I've been experiencing a little bit of delay from time to time with some of these things I will uh, work on correcting that issue so the first thing that I'm gonna do is run over to this box that I have here and I pretty much have everything I need ready to go okay back over to the table these fences I'm gonna get these right now this time oh ho, 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 or not <laughs> okay there we go right now I need at least four of these oh well that's producing three so I have six that's fine now the next thing we're going to need to do is to smash some iron into plates I'm just gonna make as many as I can 40 sounds good that's why I made extra hammer in the last video now I need to have at least one pipe okay each iteration of these pipes will create eight which is really nice because it doesn't require too much iron and I think no I'm getting this wrong I, um, four iron sheets maybe they're in the corners I can't remember can't remember the recipe for the iron sheet metal give me one second okay ah oh, it's a diamond okay so we need a total of oh I have it down here that's 34 times for the total amount of aluminum we need 34 plates it doesn't look like I have enough uh, flattened out yet so I'm gonna have to grab my other hammer and make some more actually I can just do this oh these make four each okay so I only need I only need two more uh, my hammer should be in here somewhere I what did I what did I do with the darn thing what I know I've got one. Oh, this is oh it's right there in my hand oh, it's like when you're going to look for something and it's in your pocket like every time okay now back to this we've got enough iron as well as our treated wood fences to construct the um, tower 
but the thing is is that I'm going to want to get the fluid out of here I don't know if I have to pressurize these lines to pump it uphill or anything like that so I'm gonna have to experiment around with that a little bit I'll do that off camera and then I'll explain how it works um, let's start with we're gonna need the hammer because we've got to tap it after we've created it just like all of the other multi-block structures so we need four fence posts okay we put this block here and then we just go around the circle four times so that's the first one two three and now on the top what we want to do is just close it off and now this tank is going to be really really useful because it's going to allow us to store our fluid coming out of here I think I can just sneak click how do I get how do I get output from here maybe hmm let me just try and attach a pipe I don't know how to use this I should have tested it out there we go there we go see that and now our creosote should go right into the tank theoretically Oh, come on. It's doing all kinds of stuff I don't want it to do. Um, <clears throat> hmm. How do we make this happen? I'm gonna have to look into that. But um it looks like it's it looks like it's set up. Okay, so I'm gonna have to rest real quickly. Hmm. Maybe we need to have some coal in there cooking and, and have the process occurring. I'll give that a shot while I'm going on about the engineer's toolbox. That's going to be the next thing that we're going to cover. Um, I hope that this doesn't run a little bit too long. I might have to turn my camera back on and um get into that so for that what we need are three aluminum plates one industrial crate and two rose dies oh i don't know that i brought my dies out here i ay, ay, ay. should have just spent a little bit more time and triple checked my preparation okay i'm gonna run back out here this will be quick um, oh, all of my plants are outside. Hi. Okay. There, we've got some poppies. Okay. Automated storage system would be awesome. So anyway, um, I need my aluminum put these leftover parts in the box okay I'm just I need to get the bauxite I don't know how that little glitch happened earlier but I, I know I had the bauxite and for some reason or another it turned into nickel but this appears to be aluminum which is what we want now I'm gonna have to smelt this down um there is a machine that I can construct a few machines um, we can get a, a drill um, a surveyor essentially it's it'll a core drill sampler basically you set it where you want it will drill down 
and it will let you know what ores are in the area and then you can set up another uh, mining machine as well as uh, the mining drill which I'm going to make the main component for today I'm not however going to be able to complete the entire thing and have it functioning because I don't I don't think that I have everything I need for that okay so I've got I need to make an industrial crate so we've got our treated wood we make this crate just like a box and I need to look at the recipe actually I need to cook this okay and while that's cooking I'll look up the recipe for the toolbox okay so it's roses on the side wooden storage crate on the bottom and then the aluminum plates on top now see that's strange because that's aluminum that's that's nickel how did my aluminum turn into nickel This is, this is what happened to me before. That's really seriously frustrating. <sighs> Can I break this down? That's making nickel plates. If I turn this, that's nickel plates. That's all of my aluminum now. I spent two hours looking for aluminum and was only able to get nine pieces of aluminum. I mined an entire mountain. This is seriously frustrating. I don't know if it's because of random ores and that's kind of replacing some of the generation of these or if it's because of uh, just aluminum being highly rare oh man that's such a bummer I'm not gonna dwell on it though um, the next step that I wanted to cover was the jerry can I'll figure out what I've done wrong there it's probably the way I'm smelting them um, and I, I might still be able to have a way that I can convert that nickel. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into it. So for the jerry can, we need to have four buckets and four iron plates. All right. I've got some buckets made up already. In one of these boxes. Maybe they're in my backpack. Here we go. All right, now I remember that recipe because it was pretty simple. We get the buckets and then iron plates like that and we have a jerry can. Now that's gonna, at least for now, we'll be able to take the jerry can and really fill it full. And I should be able to store that in the tank, I don't know. Um, anyway, let's get some more coal cooking. I want to test out this tank and see if that's automating. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to go over are ear defenders. For the ear defenders, we need three iron rods and two wool. I don't know how to make iron rods, so I'm going to look that up. That looks like them. We need two pieces of iron. That's too easy. I can make those right here. We need three of those. That's going to make four. That's all we need. And I have some wool in a box one of these boxes it was two wool two wool okay all right don't dwell on it, don't dwell on it. To make these ear defenders, we just make a simple triangle. Now apparently you can dye these and the color that they're dyed will 
um, change the noise and the intensity of the volume and the type that they uh, block. I don't know exactly what the um, specs are on any of that. So I'm going to have to find that out and I'll be able to get back to you on that as well. All right, so we've got this and we've got that at least. And uh, the last thing I'm going to do actually because the engineer's box is not happening now or the mining drill. We got the fluid tank. Okay, I'm going to build some poles and some low voltage wire so I can run these poles down the hill from where my uh, windmill is up there. I'm going to run it I'm going to run it down right over here, right down that hill and over to here. And I'll probably just put another um, trickle charge of capacitors up here. Because we're going to definitely need some power over here to, to get machines going in the future. And this just seems like a logical spot to me. Alright, so to make a pole, I think... We need, uh, what are they? They're not called poles, they're called posts. Okay, one piece of stone brick. And then treated fences. Uh, wrong, wrong box dummy. Okay. Now, I should have some treated fences ready to go. Nope, that's what I made those for. Okay, that should give us enough to make <clears throat> some poles. So it's two fences and the block. Now these poles are really cool because we'll be able to run um, not only run our power lines down into the town area here but we'll also be able to hook lamps up to them as well as transformers uh, whoops wrong thing uh, that should probably be enough now let me make sure I have enough wire I'm gonna have to Smash down some copper plates. Okay. And now cut it into wires with our cutters. Okay. And now from here we need to use regular sticks to coil them around. Just throw away that sugar cane. And there we have it. Now I think that this should probably be enough because if I remember correctly I have extra I don't know how to check the capacity of this I, I think that that's a readout or something I'll figure that out. I'll work on it maybe I have to just put a pipe in that slot to let it know to go to the pipe um, I want to make sure I have enough relays to make it down here, we have connector. I only have medium relays. I've got some extra low voltage wire. All right. I wonder if I can melt this wire back down into ingots. I'm going to have to look that up, and I did have some of those. All right. So now um, I need low voltage connectors or relays. That's it. Okay, hardened clay and copper ingots. 
All right, we're going to put these away, like all of this stuff. Come back for it later. Okay, um, I guess you can't put a crate in a crate. That makes sense. Low voltage connector. Okay, onto the relays. Oh, I put my copper in here. Okay. Hopefully this will be enough for... Oh, those are connectors. These are relays. Okay, cool. That'll definitely be enough. Right, and our capacitors are nice and full. Um, yeah, until it's time for me to uh, start building this windmill. All right, so what we're going to do is just put the pole down. I don't have any scaffolding yet. So we're going to attach the relay on the top of the pole. All right. And I will just work below myself in the future while I'm doing this. All right. The only reason why... Oh, okay, excuse me one second. I got to turn my camera back on. Okay, so from the capacitor... I can't attach that there. Okay, so no big deal. I've got my hammer. What I can do is take a connector and I need to tap my capacitor here. Blue is out. So now we just need a connector and the relays and the wire and the poles would help. Okay. Connector. Blue is out from two. Now I'm going to bring this down over here. Um, this looks like a good spot. I don't know how far the wires go and I want to make sure that there's not going to be any errors where it's going through the ground. Okay, relay that. I'm going to bring this down the hill a little more. Put this one, put down one more block, put it right there. All right, relay, bring this down again. Oh, I don't want them on the side. Although maybe that would look cooler. See if we can get this. Got it. Okay. Now I'm going to just bring that over here. Okay. Whoops. Come on, guy. Relay. Did I lose one? Nah, I don't know. We'll run that over here. Okay, relay. And then up to here. Maybe I could have went more of a straight line, but I feel like I'm going to need this over there and everything else. And our town is roughly 150 square blocks from one, where our um, village hall is. So we're kind of right in the center in this, in this row. Okay. 
and I'm just going to start connecting the wires. I'm going to go from the top. All right. We've got our first connection all already done. So we just need to connect from here and attach to there. Again, connect, 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 connect. All right, now from two. Oh, this is too far away. Okay. That's good to know. Okay, I'll just chop it up whole. All right, and then I'm just going to try to square this one up. That should be nice and square. Close enough. From, oh, I forgot to put the connector on it. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 okay. What am I going to stand on? I've got nothing. <sighs> Alright, there we are. Boop, 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 boop. Connector. Still too far away. That's a... That's less of a distance than standard redstone. So... I don't know if it's going to make that one. I might have to put another relay on the side of that hill or something. Okay. There we are. Hopefully this is just in range. It looks like this is too far also. I'm working, guy. I'm working. Get out of here. Too far away. Oh. All right. This should do it, right? It's not that far, is it? <clears throat> I hope that's not too far. That's not that's not that far. There we are. Cool. Now let me just make another capacitor for use over here. Uh, those are pretty easy. This is low voltage. Okay, copper, lead, planks. That's really easy. Planks on the bottom. Iron on the top the lead and the copper another capacitor I have one more connector this will be able to give us a little bit of power to start using over here for now we're not really using it it's not all that impressive I'm just kind of storing it up but it will in the future serve some really awesome purposes you're gonna have to just take my word for it on that for now Okay, um, it doesn't seem to be getting energy here, All right? We're going out, ah, uh, that top capacitor is empty. No, it says that there's nothing going into the line. Oh, this blue is in. Okay, okay, yep, now we're good, now we're good. Orange is out, blue is in, orange is out. Dum, 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 dum. 
All right. Now we should be storing. All right. This video could have been a little bit better, but that's about what we've got for today's episode. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna work a little bit harder. I'm gonna have to go out and get more bauxite and figure out what happened with that. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that. I'm gonna do some searching on the forums and see about that bauxite issue turning into nickel. It was aluminum powder and then that turned into nickel so that might be a glitch i'm not entirely positive i'm going to find out about this and we will begin doing some much more interesting stuff with this as well as soon i will be getting into the astral sorcery i just really want to uh, get this town going and look like it's really cool so thank you everybody for watching this is mick stardust i'll see you next time whoa 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 forgot one last thing over here this is kind of one of the most critical things because i made that mistake in my last video i forgot to double check to see about whether or not these sails equip directly onto the windmill or not. So I'm going to just run up here boop, 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 and see about this. Hopefully, we're going to increase the output of our windmill. And it doesn't appear to be working. Oh, there it goes. Yes. All right. All you want to do is just right click on the windmill um, pinion type thing there. Oh, wow. That seems to have doubled the speed of this. Yeah. How much are we putting out? Where's my voltmeter? Oh, I think I put it in the box. Yeah. Well, I still don't have I still don't have a bucket of water down there to, to land in yet, but I'll do that. This doesn't take too long anyway. Whoa! All right, guys, thanks for watching. And as you see, that windmill does work. I've just got to figure out this nickel problem. All right, thanks for watching. This is Mick Stardust, and I'll see you next time.